Hey, Chris Ferdinandi here with another vanilla JS quick tip. Let's get into it. In JavaScript, an element has attributes and properties. The terms are often used interchangeably, but they're actually two separate things. An attribute is the initial state when rendered in the DOM. A property is the current state. In most cases, attributes and properties are kept in sync automatically. For example, I have a paragraph element that says hello. I'm going to use document query selector to get that element. And then I'm going to use the set attribute method to um, set the ID to first paragraph. And when I do this, the ID property is also going to be updated as well. Um, they're, they're kept in sync. So I'm going to log uh, the paragraph ID, and I'm also going to use get attribute to get that ID attribute and log that. And if I jump over to the console, you can see that they're both, both first paragraph. Now, this works for most elements, but user changeable form properties, most notably value, checked, and selected are not automatically synced, um, particularly if the user has already updated them. And because the user has changed them, um, the, the property is different from the attribute. And this is where things get a little bit confusing. So uh, for another example, I have an input here with an ID of greeting. And I am again going to use document query selector to get that um, that field. And I have this update function. Inside it, I'm going to use the set attribute method to update the value of my greeting field to hello there. And then I'm again going to log that property directly. And I'm going to use get attribute to get the value property. And I'm going to log that. So um, if we reload the browser here and I run update, you can see that the field now says hello there and the field value is hello there, and the get attribute um, string is also hello there. Kind of what we would expect, but that changes if I type something in this field first. So I have now modified the value of this field as a user. And if I run update and try to set its attribute, the attribute updates, but the value property does not. So greeting value is now, hey there, neighbor, what I typed into this field. The attribute is hello there. I can use the, um, the property directly to update it, though. So if I wrote um, hello there, no, this needs to be a string, sorry. So if I wrote hello there like this, you can see the, um, the property itself also updates. Um, so if I were to go greeting, greeting value, it's hello there, uh, the text in the field has updated. Um, but once a user changes the value of one of those fields, the property and the attribute go out of sync. So generally what I recommend is for safety, kind of best likelihood of kind of things working the way you want, um, modify the property directly if you want to update it regardless of what the user may have done. Um, if you want to respect user changes, then use set attribute instead or get attribute. Um, if you're trying to get the value the user put into a field, you'd want to use um, the property. Um, and so understanding the difference between the two will help you choose the right option based on what you're trying to do in your code. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe even share it with someone else who you think might enjoy it. You can also get my daily developer tips newsletter over at gomakethings.com where every weekday I share a new tip, trick, tool, or vanilla JS snippet to help you build a simpler and more resilient web. Thanks so much for watching.